I think it's fair to say that Tom Coughlin's tenure with the Giants was an incredibly successful one. In his 12 seasons with the team, he made it to the postseason five times. He won over 100 games, and he won two Super Bowls, including one of the greatest upsets of all time at Super Bowl 42. When all is said and done, he will likely wind up in the Hall of Fame. His tenure with the Giants started in 2004. But do you know it almost started a lot sooner than that? More than a decade before, the Giants were courting Tom Coughlin to be their next head coach. And this is the story of how Coughlin almost started coaching the Giants all the way back in 1993. First, we have to go back a bit to 1991, when Bill Parcells led the New York Giants to their second Super Bowl title, defeating the Buffalo Bills 20-19. In the middle of May, seemingly out of nowhere, Parcells decided to retire and hang it up. The timing for this was bizarre, since it forced the Giants to find a replacement in the middle of the offseason after the draft and with just two months to go until training camp. It also meant that a lot of Giants assistants on the staff were gone by this point, including Tom Coughlin. Coughlin served as the team's wide receivers coach for three seasons, but before the Giants started their playoff run that year, he was hired by Boston College to become their new head coach. Scrambling for options, the Giants wound up hiring Ray Hanley, who nearly quit coaching a few months before this to go to law school. I made a video about a player going to law school while playing in the NFL if you want to check that out in the upper right corner. As you can probably expect, this did not work out at all. The Giants struggled big time under Hanley, going 8-8 in 1991 and 6-10 in 1992. It also didn't help that Hanley wasn't exactly an easy guy to like, as he said that one of the reasons the Giants weren't playing well was because the fans were booing and weren't supporting the team well. The 6-10 season in 1992 was their worst season since 83, which was Parcells' first year with the team. And after this disastrous campaign and back-to-back non-playoff years, Hanley got fired. Meanwhile, over at Boston College, Tom Coughlin turned the Eagles into a winning team. In Coughlin's second season with the Eagles, he led them to an 8-3-1 record, which was the team's best record since the 1986 season. They wound up ranked inside the AP Top 25, and even had a game that season where they knocked off number 9 ranked Penn State on the road. After Halloween that year, Boston College was undefeated, and they were ranked number 9 in the country. Coughlin was even nominated that season for the Bear Bryant Award, given to the top coach in college football that season. So when the Giants were looking for a head coach to right the ship that Hanley pretty much sunk, they looked to Tom Coughlin as their top choice. Coughlin was informed of the Giants' interest while he was getting Boston College ready for the Hall of Fame Bowl against Tennessee, but he said that he was focusing on the program, and that prepping for a bowl game was not the time to think about going to the NFL. Eventually, though, after the game, Coughlin met with General Manager George Young, where the two sides talked about Coughlin leaving Boston College. But in the end, Coughlin declined. He decided to stay at BC, and with their first choice off the board, the Giants decided to hire Dan Reeves to be their head coach instead. One year later, Coughlin did wind up leaving Boston College to take the head coaching job with the expansion Jacksonville Jaguars. And one decade after that, when the Giants needed a new head coach to replace June Faso following a disastrous 4-12 campaign in 2003, the Giants eventually got their man with Tom Coughlin. And the rest is history. You know how the old saying goes, if at first you don't succeed, try again. The Giants tried it, and it paid off at the end of the day in a big time way. Special thanks to all our Patreon supporters for helping out the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. See how you can become a patron and request future video topics in the description below.